President Joe Biden has personally promised to grant amnesty to an estimated 11 million illegal aliens. He calls it a path to citizenship. That may be true, but what will this amnesty mean for the more than 300 million citizens and legal residents that America already has? First, let's consider what the word amnesty means. The word amnesty, like amnesia, comes from the Greek word amnestia, which means to forget. So, in terms of immigration, amnesty means to forget that millions, which FAIR estimates could be as high as 14.5 million, came to the United States by breaking our immigration laws. The thing is, that's not the only thing amnesty supporters are forgetting. Congress passed an amnesty once before in 1986. At the time, Republicans and Democrats promised us that if we passed the Immigration Reform and Control Act, illegal immigration would slow. How? It was presented as a one-time deal, an amnesty for 2.7 million in exchange for tougher enforcement. What Congress, the public, and the president did not envision or did not want was another amnesty debate. The American people were told in 1986 that this would be a one-time shot. The incentive to buy into the argument was a promise of enforcement. Well, we got the amnesty, just not the enforcement. 35 years later, they want to do it again. But now, the timing is even worse. Before Congress is a plan to offer amnesty to all illegal aliens who crossed our border before January 1, 2021. But unlike the 1986 amnesty, this time there are no real promises of enforcement. In fact, the Biden administration has promised the exact opposite. In his first month in office, Biden already signed several executive orders designed to weaken immigration enforcement, including ending any and all construction of the border wall. In simple terms, the Biden administration has promised eventual citizenship to millions of illegal aliens while at the exact same time erasing border security. So where does this leave us? Unemployment is hovering around 10 million in a pandemic weakened job market. Rapidly expanding the number of applicants won't help anybody get a job. 5.4 million Americans lost their insurance when they were laid off in 2020. That's on top of the 29.6 million Americans who were already uninsured. Millions still looking for work, millions still uninsured. Before we purposefully forget that millions of aliens got here illegally, we have to remember that law-abiding Americans are still struggling. The burden imposed by amnesty will also fall onto future generations of Americans. According to the Heritage Foundation, Amnesty would likely result in an immediate tax increase of nearly $1.3 trillion. Amnesty thus means higher taxes and more debt. How can our government justify a mass amnesty when the nation is already facing such historic challenges? We were told the 1986 amnesty bill would reduce illegal immigration, prevent employers from hiring illegal aliens, and strengthen our borders. We learned over the last two and a half decades that those were false promises. Amnesty is today what it was in 1986, a bad idea. And if we repeat what was supposed to be a one-time amnesty, doesn't it teach prospective illegal aliens who have yet to enter the U.S. that they can expect another one? For more information about the costs and consequences of mass immigration, visit fairus.org.